Howdy folks, I am here with my kids between doctor and dentist appointments today. School's canceled for a long story. I'll just gripe about it if I say anything, but I got both my kids. I had to bring them both to the dentist this morning and I got to bring one to the doctor later this afternoon. So today's kind of shot, which is unfortunate because it's the last dry day. This is warm. Everything is melting. The ground is nice and soft because the frost is thawing, but it hasn't rained yet. That soft ground makes it a lot easier to push out roots because they just they release and they slide out so easily. Dry ground is really hard to pull roots out of, you know, to push trees over. But uh, oh well, it's gonna be like a week of rain coming, and I'm not gonna complain. Praise the Lord for whatever weather He gives me. What I'm gonna do, hopefully, with the today is pull this um, pusher off and repair. There's this last little bit of meat is left. That thing is broke right straight through there, all tore up from just flexing and flexing and flexing. And you can see it's mushing from the, the action of pushing up against trees. You can see where there's some grinding has been going on there from the flex. So I'm going to heat and beat and weld it, grind it, plate it, weld it some more, maybe plate it some more. Um, I don't see any cracks in that rod end. I got this tube here from the flex this thing here is just about snapped through so i got a brace right there and i'm going to be adding in a triangular one two three and maybe even a four maybe even a tube straight down but definitely a brace from here to here and then another brace across so that these can't spread i don't know if it'll be a single triangle or a bisected triangle it depends and then from here that's my dang kid from here to here and then maybe a gusset in this dimension possibly one down to here what i would really like is to be able to push trees with this section because you get twice the force over here as you do up there and there are times where i only need a little nudge a lot of times it's when a tree is leaned into another and i just need to knock it a bit but i can't do it from the top because there's not enough force but if i can hit it here without caving these tubes in I'd be in good shape and I actually do want to make a ladder not not like I need many steps but I do want to make a ladder rung up the top so that I can park that against a tree and I can climb up and set a high line for pulling them in a direction where I can't when I cannot push it forward I can pull it backward that's what I really want to be able to do so let me get moving here I don't have the time to set up the tripod and tape it and all that junk but I figured whatever okay so I'm gonna beat this pen a little bit more Look at, there's my front pin with a pin beater right on it. Pretty slick, right? I don't know if I can swing lefty, especially after I hurt my finger. Ooh, that popped. Okay, I'm starting to spread that wing. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook the skid steer right there to lift this up. You getting this? Yeah. Don't fall. Don't get nervous. I'm not going to lift it. I'm just going to just barely touch it. Ugh, it's blood is
What are you doing? Let me see the key you got. Hold the key. Stick it in there and turn it. Move your hand. Let's step on the brake. Okay. What was that? Technical difficulties. True. They're all technical. Don't put me on. Hurry up. Hey, we gotta get to your doctor appointment, so no clowning around, all right? Shush. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Right there. All right, I gotta empty the junk out of the bed. in there. Safety first. Sorry about, the recording. sorry about the recording, he says. Time to get this kid to the doctor's office. We gotta put this kid's here back. See you later. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Praise the Lord.